Streak 7, it's a 7 inch tablet uh, coming out with uh, probably be shipping with T Mobile as a carrier. Time frame roughly Q1. Uh, a lot of what we're demoing here is uh, is the content, right? So, how the Tegra 2 processor, which is the first uh, dual core mobile processor, how we, the game developers are able to enhance them. their applications using the, the graphics power. So, here's a game which is. Uh, called Galaxy on Fire 2. Uh, this game, what we can show here is... So th this is with the Tegra 2 processor. You can see there's a good amount of shading and lighting and texture on the base as well as on the plane. And what, and what Tegra 2 allows you to do since it's dual core is it allows you, these, these game developers and their gaming engines to, to manage more threads than they could before on a single processor. So what I can do here is turn off, you know, one of the processor effectively what Tegra's doing. So this would be without Tegra processing, right? So this would be a single core. As you can tell, there's not the ability to do as much shading and lighting. The texture is now gone from the plane as well as from the base. Turn it back on. You can see the difference again in the base as well as on the detail of the plane itself. Yeah, definitely. That's one. Um, let's see what else we got in there. And is this a fi final version of the software? Uh, no, this is not a final version of the software. So this is currently running uh, 2.2. Okay. Uh, you know, you know, the version of, of, of what actually launches is, is, is dependent on the manufacturer and the carrier themselves, right? I, I would imagine it's going to come out with either 2.3 or 3. Okay. But, but again, that's that's not necessarily up to us. Uh, but, but you can't imagine that a lot of these tablets are going to be coming out uh, probably with, with Honeycomb in the future. Um, another game we can show here is uh, Samurai 2 Vengeance. This game is that I, I keep walking around and playing this myself, actually. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the developer here with us, but uh, and, and you can tell we're able to kind of bring this desktop gaming experience uh, to an actual mobile device. Leave the level of detail. Again, the lighting, the amount of moving objects here. Oh, yeah. And that was cell shaded, or? Uh, I'm sorry. Is that like a cell shaded game, or? Oh uh, yeah, Animal 3D. Yeah, I, I don't know if this is 3D or not. I can show you another one in a sec that I know is. Another one of the games that we have on the other side you should definitely take a look at is uh, Dungeon Defender. So Dun Dungeon Defender has a Tegra version and a non-Tegra version of the game. And the reason they have two is because they're able to do more, again, with the, uh, with the Tegra processor. So on the Tegra processor, or the Tegra version of that game, they can actually do uh, cross-platform uh, networking, right? So you can play a friend that's on a PC and another friend that's on a PlayStation all at once over, over Wi-Fi. Oh, wow. And again, that's only possible because they have enough cores that are, you know, to manage the amount of threads that it takes for the networking, the graphics, the audio, and everything else. That looks good. And it has a front mount camera? Yeah, front mount camera. Well, it's got both, actually. All right, so front and rear. All right, so you're probably gonna see a lot of these devices trying to focus on, you know, some kind of like, you know, Skype type data app application or G-Talk or something like that, right? And it has speakers, I'm assuming, like dual stereo or? Uh, yeah, I can't speak too much to, to all the specs. Um, I mean, uh, I know some of the generics, right? So you have your, your SIM and the SD cards. Okay. Here, you have a single uh, uh, connector, which which you, you, I don't know the exact accessories that it's going to come with, but you can imagine it's going to have all, all your, H, your HMI outs and everything else based there. And the speakers are here on the side. Okay. Um, power and volume buttons here. Yeah. Great. Thanks for the demo. Yeah, no problem.